So we're going to do a video on a trigger point injection. Uh, this gentleman actually is the husband of one of our nurses who was just sitting watching TV and all of a sudden just had an onset of pain in his shoulder and the pain actually causes some paresthesias down his arm. And actually when you palpate like right in this area here, it's clearly a uh, very tender palpable area and that's where it's at. Um, really doesn't have any, any pain in the neck, maybe a little pain going up here. Is that right, sir? Yes, sir. A little pain going up there. But most of the pain that he's having does not seem like it's a ridiculous type pain. Uh, there's no, uh, there's really no history that sounds convincing that he's got a, a pinched cervical nerve. But one of the best ways I have found to figure this out is basically to inject the area that's uh, obviously compromised and see if you get pain relief. So we're going to actually mix up, we're going to use a 3ml syringe and we're going to mix up some marcaine and, and some salumedrol. We'll do about 40 or 50 milligrams of salumedrol and about 2.5 ml of marcaine. So, so a lot of times I like to use an osteopathic technique. Some people call it acupressure or ischemic pressure. And his area of swelling is, is really right in there. You can almost visually see it. But um, what I want to start out with, and this is going to hurt a little bit because I'm going to, I'm going to actually um, take my thumbs and I'm going to find the area that hurts you the most and then I'm just going to put pressure down. And um, you are allowed to cuss. <laughs> and this, now, is this where it hurts you the most? Yeah, that hurts. Okay, okay, so I'm in the right place. So I do this for a minute or two until um, I kind of feel the muscle underneath it, underneath my thumbs, start to give way. And so I just, I just keep the pressure on there. And if, if I'm not hurting you, then I'm not in the right place. Well, you found it. Okay, good. <laughs> start to feel just a little bit your muscles are pretty tight I'm not getting as much of a relaxation as I normally get but it's getting some there we go I feel a little bit under my thumb okay so so I've kind of got that started there now you have no allergies of any kind right I'm to codeine. okay we're not using any codeine on this of, of course and uh, you're okay being on a YouTube video sure okay <laughs> Go ahead and do some freezy spray. Just till it starts frosting up there. And then I'm just gonna grab on here. And obviously I'm, I'm trying to go more parallel and you should feel that into the muscle when I do that. Is that, does that hurt? Yeah. Okay, I can kind of feel the muscle kind of spasm a little bit as I do that. So I aspirate again, inject. A little bit there. I'm going to fan it, all right? So I feel that muscle just like pop there. It's not pop, but it's uh, spasms a little bit as I hit it. Okay, there's, now, um, is it starting to feel a little better? I can't really tell right now. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more injection here. All right, so um, what I want to do is I'm going to go up higher here a little bit. So if, if you'll just spray in that area. Okay. I feel I'm going in a muscle like right there. And yeah, I'm nowhere near lung on this, but obviously you want to. You would, I'm I'm going relatively parallel 
uh, although I am going down, but I have to get into the muscle, so. Okay, now, so, after, so I'm going to clean this off a little bit, but now I want to go ahead and, and again, do some more um, working on that muscle, kneading it a little bit here, just to see if, um, number one, massage the medication into the muscle, and number two is to keep working on getting that um, muscle spasm to break up a little bit there. It's feeling better. It's actually, it actually is working. I will be surprised if, if we haven't helped you here. I'm going to put some band-aids on you there here okay. in a minute, but let's have you, um, let's have you work your arm around. It does feel better. And you may, you'll, you'll have a little residual discomfort there, but um, as the steroid works, as the steroid kicks in, as the medicines kind of diffuse, um, I, I think you'll, I think you'll find much improvement here over the next 24 hours. The numbing medicine is going to wear off probably in six hours, but the steroid is going to be working now for the next 24 hours. But I think the the culprit here has been aggressively attacked. What what I find a lot of times is people will have injuries like this, and they'll go for months. They'll get MRIs, CT scans. They'll get they'll be on Percocet for for months, and all you have to do is just do something aggressive like an injection, and bang, they're done. And, and walk out of there and they're better. We were just talking two seconds ago. What's happening with your shoulder right now? Uh, shoulder, the pain's almost gone. I'd say it's gone from a 10 of 10 on the pain scale down to maybe a two of 10. Just normal, like I'm standing now, I don't feel the pain. And it's slowly getting better and better, so I highly recommend the procedure. Okay, good. That's all we needed. Thank you so much. All right, no problem.